what's up welders welcome to another episode of adventures in welding i'm paul thanks for joining me i got the welding jacket on today we're going to do some stick welding some smaw with the ahp alpha tig 200x again this is a 2015 the um, third generation model so this model in addition to being um, an ACDC TIG welder is also a DC stick welder. I had kind of hoped that it was an ACDC stick welder, but you can do almost everything with a DC, so it's not a big problem. I've got some uh, metal prepped up, ready to go. We're going to switch this thing over to stick welding and uh, see what it can do. I'm going to clean up some coupons. for us to work with here and I'm going to be putting on this uh, Blackhawk flap disc that I got from the good people at Empire Abrasives well you can see that four and a half inch type 29 uh, zir zirconated 60 grit for metal and stainless it's got the nice angle in there so we'll pop that bad boy on here's a tip never use a wrench to tighten these hand tight is good enough that does it removing some light mill scale Holy cow! That's incredible. Alright guys, let's get ready and switch this bad boy over for some uh, DC stick welding. First thing I'm going to do is just disconnect our gas and disconnect our TIG torch. And then I'm going to disconnect our work lead from the positive and connect it to the negative just twist locks in there no big deal I'm also going to disconnect the foot pedal the manual doesn't say if that's necessary or not but I'm going to go ahead and disconnect it because it is unnecessary for what we're doing then I'm going to put the torch into the pot or the torch the uh the whip our electrode holder into the positive so we are going to be welding the process called dc ep dc electrode positive flip this bad boy up here and we are going to be dc and stick welding i'll leave that 2t i guess pulse off none of those mean anything so I'm just going to turn them all down to zero we are going to be welding with a uh, 330 second 7018 rod and I like about 90 amps on that so I'm going to turn this down to about 90 amps and I'll turn these up to just about the same setting all right let's get everything ready to roll our piece of metal here we've got our ground clamp on the metal always a good idea I know I clamp it to the table sometimes myself, but if you can clamp it to the workpiece, you're just going to be a lot happier in the end. 
All right, we've got our 7018 in the Stinger, and I'll be doing a scratch start method. Now that was a really nice, soft arc. So let's clean off the slag and see what we got. See, I got a little porosity right here at the beginning and that has nothing to do with the machine 7018 low hydrogen rod should be stored in a rod oven I don't have a rod oven so they probably picked up a little bit of moisture but you can see after about an inch and a half once it got heated up there's no more porosity and that produced a really nice bead all right, we've got a 6011 rod here. Now these rods are great if you have to do some open root on a machine, an inverter machine like this that just won't burn a uh, 6010. And you'll find that a lot of the inverter type machines just won't. So let's see what we can do with a 6011. Uh, Yeah, that burnt real nice. Let's clean it off and see what it looks like. All right, there's our original 7018 bead we did. And there's our 6011 bead. That AHP Alpha TIG lays down some really nice stick beads. So let's set up a joint. How about we start with a, uh, a fillet weld? And we'll see how it does. Let's see how our fillet weld came out. Slag comes off pretty easy.
that made a really nice weld let's bring you in closer all right guys that's it for stick welding with the ahp alpha tig 200x the 2015 model lays down some beautiful beads you saw how simple it is to switch over from tig welding to stick welding i welded in dcep which is what you're generally going to weld your 7018s, your 6010, 6011 rods with. If you're going to do a 6013, you're probably going to want to switch that over, but check the packaging on the electrodes you choose. They'll tell you what amperage range to set and what polarity you need to be welding at. Uh, front panel controls, really simple. Switch from TIG to stick, one switcheroo. I give it a thumbs up. Now get the hell out of my shop, it's the weekend.